Hello everyone, welcome back to Illum Biology. Let's move ahead with our next class. It's class number 15 and today we would remember a mnemonic to remember the examples of animal kingdom. This is the first part of the examples of animal kingdom. There is another part for this. I'll do watch that part also. Now by this video, I would give you some mnemonics to remember some examples of animal kingdom. So let's start with our first mnemonic. Now the first mnemonic would help us in remembering the examples of Ascalmentus that is round worms. We very well know Ascalmentus is a phylum in animal kingdom uh, which includes all the round worms and the examples to remember the Ascalmentus. Now to remember the examples of Ascalmentus we would need to remember a simple word which means Havan. Which means Havan. You must be knowing about Havan. Havan is a ritual performed in India for whenever we are uh, uh, going for any opening of house or inaugurating some shop or even in marriages we perform Havan. So that Havan would help us in remembering the examples of Ask Helminthus. How? See H. H would stand for hookworm. A. Hookworm which is also called as ancelostoma. Next is A. A would help us in remembering Ascaris. The very well known example of Ask Helminthus is Ascaris. Next is W. W means Butcher area, butcher area, which is Filaria worm. See, I am also writing here the common names of these uh, organisms. Hookworm is Ancylostoma, Ascaris is roundworm, and butcher area is Filaria worm. The next A is Ascalminthus. This is included just to remember that this mnemonic is for the examples of S. helminthus and the N, N stands for nemat helminthus. We very well know the other name of S. helminthus. S. helminthus is also called as nemat helminthus or nematodes. So by this mnemonic, you can remember the examples of S. helminthus as well as the other name for S. helminthus that is nemat helminthus or nematodes. So basically three important examples of S. helminthus are Hukumum, Ascaris and Bucheraria. And the mnemonic is Havan. Okay, let's proceed with the next one, the second mnemonic. Now, this mnemonic would help us in remembering the examples of analytes, all the analytes. And it's a very simple mnemonic. You just have to remember the name of a girl called Neha. Neha is basically an Indian name, Indian girl name. Now, N, N would help us in remembering Niris. E, e stands for earthworm. We very well know earthworm is the most common example of analytes, which is all. The uh, zoological name is Ferretima. Then is Hirudinaria, which is the blood sucking leech, a leech that sucks blood. And the next A is Enelids. That means Niris, Earthworm, and Hirudinaria. All these three are examples of Enelids. So just remember your friend Neha. And Neha would help us you to remember three examples of Enelids Niris, Earthworm, Hirudinaria, and all those are Enelids. Next mnemonic is for the examples of cyclostomates. What are cyclostomates? Cyclostomates are the fishes without jaw. Now in the examples of cyclostomates, you just need to remember the three subjects that you need to take in class 11th for preparation of IITJE. This is physics, chemistry and maths. Physics, chemistry and maths. For NEET, we take physics, chemistry, bio. For maths, we take physics, chemistry, maths. So, physics, chemistry, maths would help us in remembering the examples of cyclostomates. The first is P. P, P means petromyzone, which is also called as lamprey. Next is C. C means cyclostomates, the name of the group. And the next is M. M stands for mixin. That means mixin and petromyzone are examples of cyclostomates. So, remember PCM and PCM would help us to remember about petromyzone and mixin being cyclostomates. Mixin is also called as hagfish. Next mnemonic is for the examples of vertebrates. You see, there are some groups in vertebrates. We very well know the classification of chordata phylum. In chordata phylum, there is a group called vertebrata, and in vertebrata, there are total five more groups. And to remember the names of those five groups, just remember param. Just remember param. Param is also an Indian name which means super. Now, P. P stands for Pisces, that is the group of fishes. Next is A, A stands for amphibians. Then R, R stands for reptiles. Then A, A stands for aves or birds. And the last one is M, that is mammals. We often get confused in the in the different groups in amongst the vertebrates. So it's very easy to remember all those groups. You just need to remember a name called Param, Pisces, amphibians, reptiles, aves and mammals. 
So these are the groups in vertebrata. Next mnemonic. Now by this mnemonic you can remember the examples of sponges and this is a very simple mnemonic. Whenever someone asks you the examples of sponges, just give them a single word answer that is sponges. The examples of sponges is sponges. Now how can you, can you remember the examples of sponges by sponges? The first is S and S stands for Sycon or Skypha. Sycon, the botanical, the uh, zoological name is Skypha. The first example is Sycon. Next P stands for Porifera, which is the name of the phylum of sponges. Sponges, they are placed in the phylum Porifera. Next is O-N. Now by O-N, you remember Clyona. You remember Clyona. Ona. Now, Clyona and Clyona, there is O and N. So, by O and you can remember Clyona. Next is G. G stands for glass sponge. Glass sponge which is called as Hylonema. The zoological name is Hylonema. The next is E. E stands for U spongia. U spongia, the other name is bath sponge. So, U spongia is remembered by E, the bath sponge. And the last one is S. S would help us in remember the another example called spongilla or the fresh water sponge. Spongilla is the fresh water sponge. So the basic examples are Sycon, Clyona, Glass Sponge, Euspongia and Spongilla. And all of them are the examples of the phylum Porifera which includes sponges. So these are the examples of sponges which you remember by remembering the name sponges. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching us. Do watch the second part of this video in which we would give you a few more mnemonics to remember the examples of animal kingdom. Thanks for connecting with us.